previously on Dance Moms. Abby Lee draws on abs. We have real abs. Did you stand in the wings and watch the group from Kathy's? The big girl in the middle? That's who you're up against. Your kids look really old. She doesn't seem like she was from Kathy's studio at all. Exactly. She's at least 15. How old is Erica in her date of birth? Erica is 14. Correct. She is in the wrong age division. I look like an idiot that I just can't win on our own talent. All right, listen, no. different this time. Maddie and Chloe will go head to head. We have our nemesis here again. Boo! The Abby Lee Dance Company. Boo! I know you like to dance, but it could be something new. You're over it. Go out your color, finger, foot, and go! She should have opened her mouth and said, Abby, that is a mature 13-year-old. We're trying to stand behind Brooke in her decision, and we, we want the... you're an ass... Group one, they won the overall. But you know what? That was one competition. For this week, we are going to Starbound in New Jersey. We walk into Starbound. You need to be those national champions. All right. On the bottom, Nia, simply because of the mistake in the choreography. And that dance is easy. It's simple. I'm sad that I'm last this week because I worked really hard to get to the top and I went back to the bottom. Next, I have Kendall. You need to learn to read music and you need to learn to hear the music. Kendall did a big no-no in the group dance. Totally off the music. She started four counts ahead of everyone else. I'm going to keep her on probation. Until I hand her that jacket, she's still proving herself. Paige. I've seen you do the press better. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I thought you did a nice job. Next, Mackenzie. This week, you are not in the group. You are going to do a solo. All right, next I have Maddie. You were the highest scoring number in the entire competition. Why do you think you're not on the top? I actually want someone else to be on the top because I want someone else to see what that feels like and be really happy in getting the star of the group dance. I want you to stop resting on your laurels. I want you to keep improving for the next 20 years, not for one competition. Do you understand? So you impress them, I want you to impress me. Maddie really should have been on top of the pyramid this week because she won. I feel that Abby just wants to give other kids a chance on the pyramid. Um, she had to, of course, make a little comment to Maddie but I'm sure it had nothing to do with her dance skills. Next, I have Chloe. Chloe, you didn't do a solo last week. You were great in the group. People are recognizing you from the video, but I want them to recognize you for your dancing. Understood? This is the first time Chloe has ever been above Maddie on the pyramid, so it's like celebration day. Ice cream for everyone. And on top of the pyramid this week is Brooke. You went out there, you proved yourself. I mean, you went from worst to best in one week. I think being at the top means something to Brooke. I mean, I think it means something to every one of those kids. You know, Brooke felt proud of herself for finally making it to the top. And that really made me feel happy. You're the oldest person in this group. You need to be the role model, and that needs to continue. Abby wants me to be a role model for all the other girls, but I really don't know if I want to be a role model for them. Mackenzie, you're doing a routine called My Parade. And it's all about you, kiddo. You're going to march out from that corner like you're the leader of the big parade. Maddie, this week you're going to be doing a jazz routine to lights, camera, action. Chloe, you're going to be doing a lyrical routine to don't catch me. Things are going to be a little bit different this time. Maddie and Chloe will go head to head. So there's a lot at stake. Chloe's so happy she's having a lyrical solo. So once again, you know, my daughters put head to head with Maddie, but Chloe can beat Maddie. If she would just go out there and perform the piece as we know she can, she will be fine. Now, the group dance that everybody's in except Mackenzie, 
is Born to Dance, and it's about a child being born. There's a little mystery to it. These are little girls, and I'm not sure that we should be bringing up the birds and the bees. That's health class, not dance class. Brooke, you're gonna be featured in this number, but you should be the glue that's holding it together. And Maddie has been the glue that's holding it together. You need to be the most advanced one in the group, not looking around to see what these two are doing. Understood? Brooke, don't let me down. Moms, please go. Girls, stretch out. Let's go. That's what I want to see. Smile! Rock, back up! This week's group routine is called Born to Dance. It's kind of provocative, yet beautiful and wondrous, and it's all done very artistically. I want their costumes and the dancers to appear as if they're just being born. Go under your stomach. It doesn't mean she didn't really say what. Oh my God, Brooks in fetal position! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Electricity. She just came out of the vagina. She went like this. She, come out? They oh my God. I really worry that our girls don't need to be exposed to things too early. I like that they're young and they're innocent and they're naive, and there's no need to rush that. Five, six, seven, go. Now, you need to play it, Chloe. You do. Sote and sote and run, run, Tom, fuck, run, sote, ah. I know you try to pretend like, you know, everything's okay, but you're not upset at all that Maddie wasn't at the top after doing like such a good job. Because Maddie had the highest score of the day, but Brooke was fabulous, and I can't take that away from her. But her and Brooke were only one point apart. Oh, I know that. Oh, I know that. I guess I'm a little perturbed. I think it's not fair, but I want to give another kid another chance. It's definitely not a fair thing, so that's why I don't think the pyramid is a fair thing. I think the pyramid sucks. My daughter's a natural, and let's just see what happens. That's the furthest down Maddie's ever been on the pyramid. I think this is a little hard on Melissa. Melissa is used to Maddie being the best. She lets us know that Maddie's the best at every chance she gets, and right now, Brooke's the best. Up, up, roll, Brooke. Plie, plie, lock your back of your knee, Brooke. It's bad. Swing it through. Please. I really appreciate that Abby put me on top of the pyramid this week, but Abby's being really hard on me. One, two, three, four. Where are your feet? Look at your feet, Brooke. Ball change, plie. The lower you plie and get your butt underneath you, Brooke. I'm just wondering if I should go off and do other things, like cheerleading. And one, devil pay two. I ended up going to the football game after rehearsal, but Abby's yelling at me a lot, saying that I have to stay focused and don't worry about missing football games and stuff. <laughs> so, are you gonna try now? For cheer? Okay. School cheer? I don't know. I know you like to dance, but it could be something new if you're over it. Dancing is hard because you have to go to rehearsal every single day, and I'm always missing all the parties and, like, the football games and stuff, but all my friends get to go, and they're all cheerleaders, so it's just really hard. I'm curious to see if cheerleading is going to be something fun for me. I might be able to hang out with my friends more, and it could be something that I'd love to do. What are you doing, Peanut? My homework. Cheerleading trials are coming up. When are the trials? The same day as the competition. You're at the top of the pyramid this week. So not only I do I have to tell her you're going to cheerleading tryouts, but you have to skip the competition. I don't ever want her to come back to me and say, you made me go away for the dance competition, so I didn't get to try out for cheerleading, and I regret not doing anything like that in my high school years. So I need Brooke to make that decision. You're like the lead in the dance for once in your life. Do you realize like she's going to kill us? I really don't want to ruin our group number and hurt my team, but also cheerleading could be something that I'm really interested in. You do realize though that if I tell Abby that you're not going because you're going to cheerleading, she probably won't let you back in the studio.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm excited that I have a solo this week. Big! Mackenzie really proved herself in the group dance, so she's being rewarded with a solo. It's called Showtime, but it's about the leader of the band. She has her own parade. She's coming down the street. It's adorable. I just hope she remembers it. Mackenzie, do you understand that last year you were like a little baby? This is for the Abby Lee Dance Company. Everybody's going to know that you're my student, and you're the youngest one I'm taking. Get it? Don't let me down. I'm totally ready to dance with the big girls. <laughs> I talked to Brooke last night. She's just had it with Abby, telling her how she's not the leader of the group. And I mean, I know she's on the top of the pyramid this week, but she just keeps downgrading her. And she's at the point that she wants to try out for cheerleading. The problem is our competition is Saturday. I feel like if I don't send her, that she's gonna blame me and be like, you know, I wanted to try out for cheerleading, you wouldn't let me. But then on the other hand, I feel bad for the group. If Maddie came to me and said she wanted to pursue something else besides dance, I wouldn't allow her to do it in the middle of any season. It lets down the group if you are not committed to the whole season. I personally don't think she's going to like it, but I need her to find that out on her own. Abby is going to cream you. And I'm prepared for that as long as I'm doing what's right for my kid. Absolutely. Well, we'll be there to support you. Then you're making the right decision. This week is called Lights, Camera, Action, and it's a jazz dance. I don't really have jazz solos, so I don't really know what it's like, but I actually like this one. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you're going to the corner. Wake up. I'm nervous to compete against Chloe again because she's a really good dancer, but I'm not intimidated by anyone. That's enough for tonight. Maddie and Chloe are always competing against one another. They both want to win first place and say, I won first place and you didn't. But Maddie is definitely dancing at a higher level than she did last year. She has a good opportunity at this competition. This week I'm doing a solo called Don't Catch Me and it's lyrical and I really like it. Don't catch me. This week, Maddie and I are competing in the same age category, and I have a lot of confidence in myself because I'm doing a lyrical routine, and she's doing a jazz routine. I think I have a good chance of winning. I think that Chloe can outdance Maddie. I think she is going to give her a run for her money. Tomorrow, we're leaving for competition. We have 45 minutes to work on this dance, and that's it, and you will be on stage. Understood? All right, let's go. Head up. Kendall, you're right behind Chloe. You should be beyond her. Stop. Where's Brooke? I'm really not sure if Brooke wants to be part of our group still. She'll sometimes say, I hate dance. Depends what day it is. I think that's what being a teenager is all about. Hello, baby. <gasps> Well, we, we filled, filled Kelly in. I'm shocked just finding out that Brooke isn't going to be here for this number. And I know Abby doesn't know that. And I can only imagine once Abby finds out, she is going to lose it. Oh! She's going to be really mad. I've never seen you back down to Abby. Absolutely. Maddie, turn the leg out. What is wrong with you? Oh, my god. You better get down there before it gets worse. She's uh -oh, she's calling Brooke. Brooke! We have a standing rule for our competition team members. You must be present the rehearsal before the competition. So whenever that final rehearsal is, the last time we run that number, that's how we're going to do it on stage. Let me go find out where Brooke is. I'm going to chew her mother out. Kelly? Yeah? I need to know what's going on with Brooke. You're too high. Don't pick them up that high. Where is Brooke? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. I don't think she's coming this weekend. 
we had a long discussion, and there's something that came up at school that she wants to do, and I'm going to allow her to do it. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. So she's out. You're making a decision for me and for everybody in this group. You're letting a 13-year-old kid dictate my future and their future. But I'm letting my 13-year-old dictate her future. She knew when she was at the top of that pyramid, and this is where it's bad parenting, Kelly. She should have opened her mouth and said, Abby, let somebody else be at the top of the pyramid this week. That is a mature 13-year-old, not screwing everybody and stabbing them in the back. But I don't think she's screwing any of them. She's screwing me. I can feel it. Uh -oh. Kelly. OK, now she's going at she's it. Pissed. You're going to do your solo. You're going to do your solo. You're staying home, staying home, staying home. That's it. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. Run the solo. Run the solo. Get the senior company in here. Let's go. Thank you, Kelly. So in true Abby spirit, she has decided to handle the situation by eliminating the group number as a whole. Can we talk to you for a moment? Certainly. OK, thank you, Abby. But we just wanted to clarify, because we noticed that Kendall, I, Nia, and Paige were have dismissed. not been into it. They are dismissed. dismissed. You will not be traveling this weekend. Well, Melissa or and I not. aren't going for a solo. I do not want to go back to a competition that we won the Nationals without my best foot forward. We're trying to stand behind Brooke in her decision, and we, we well, want to. I think the... you're an ass. You're an ass. Why would you stand behind Brooke in because, her decision? Because you're teaching a kid no. to break a contract. Yes, you are. No, we're teaching our kids that you support your friends. Well, well, when your kid gets a full scholarship to Harvard, and Brooke's going to community college like her mother, go with her and support your friend. We're, Christy we're opens her mouth. Oh, well, we support her decision. Yeah, because you want your kid to get the lead, Christy. We know. We know how you work. We're, that yes, is ridiculous. We're saying we're a team. Well, you can go be a team in another dance studio, because at this studio, it's my way or the highway. We're a team. Well, you can go be a team gonna... in another dance studio because at this studio, it's my way or the highway. That's it. I've made up my mind. If we can't walk in there, national champions with a number that I know can win, then I don't want to go. So we are the national winners. I don't want to tarnish that reputation. Maddie is their national title winner. I don't want her to look bad. And Gianna's going to go. My name will not be on the number. So first it was the group was not going. Now the group is going, but the group can only go if her name is removed and she's not doing any choreography. And that's an ultimate slap in the face for the girls. Gianna is willing to come in tomorrow morning and rehearse for four hours before you get on the bus. The mothers have made it quite clear that they think that their kids are amazing with or without Brooke. If Gianna wants to get up in the morning and come here and work on this number, that's fine. Because I cannot let Brooke hold back these other dancers. I would never let my child shake her pom-poms for some boy to go to college for free. I know that, Abby, and I need her to make that decision on her own. You make a commitment at the beginning of the year, you see it through till the end of the year. If you don't want to do it again next year, that's fine. There's integrity there. Brooke should have come and told me. Would I have been angry? Yes. But it would have been the right move on her part and her parents. Enough said. In, out, relevant, leg, high. I don't really think it's that stressful not having Brooke. She finally got a chance to be the, like, the star of the group dance. And now I feel bad because I'm doing it. I feel bad that Brooke has to make this decision, but I'll support her any way she wants to go because she's my sister. Thank you, Gia. Where did you want her to Keep believing, Miss Abby. We can pull it off and we'll win still. Hey, girls. How was the first Gianna leading the troops. I arrive at the studio to go on the bus. There's no Abby. I'm feeling pretty relaxed. This could work out OK. Move that bus! <laughs> Move that
excited to go because you have no idea what it's going to be like in New Jersey, number one. I really didn't want to get on that bus, but I could not throw Gianna to the wolves. She does not deserve that. Kelly's not here. You really know what person's important in your house, don't you? Those feelings of euphoria were short-lived. What a way to start a trip. Bus driver Jim! <laughs> Are we there yet? I think right there. What Are do you want to do? Like, Abby just put a line. line. Like here? Yep. This is Kathy from Candy Apple this time. <laughs> no! No! No way. Second time. Do not give her any information. Why is she calling you? That is so unethical. Hi. How often does she call her? Melissa gets this phone call from Kathy, of all people. Why does Kathy have your number? I'm thinking maybe there would be a sign that can be the call together, maybe meet halfway somewhere. OK, sounds good. I can't believe that Melissa is talking to her like that. Are you going to a competition? We are. We are. We're going to a competition. We're heading to New um, Jersey. because Kathy's on her way to New Jersey, and she's going to show up again with these older kids who are more Brooke's age than they are Maddie's age. And Brooke won't be there. OK. Bye. Do not let her know so does she, she that Brooke is not in this number, because she will you? have a field day with that. Of all weeks for Brooke to go for cheerleading tryouts, you know, the Candy Apple, they're coming for blood. They want to beat us. And this might be an opportunity for them, because we were blocked getting on the bus. I hate to say it, but this could be Kathy's week. And I'm telling you one thing, that candy apple lady, I don't care what she does, she better not beat you. Because you think I'm out of Brooke now? Just wait. If that woman wins, Brooke's hide will be hanging on the top of that balcony in that studio. We're traveling to Starbound in Nutley, New Jersey. Get your suitcase, man. We are the reigning national winners. That's what we want in Lake Tahoe. They're people at Starbound who are expecting to see more. Ready to see dancing? We need to walk in there and show them that we've grown. So there's a lot at stake. Want her to wear those? OK, perfect. I think it looks nice and sophisticated plane. Thank you. All right, girls, remember, this is Starbound. You are their national winners. You can't be any less than that. Do you understand? Yes. Remember, Brooke never existed. They have no idea we're missing a dancer. We cannot and will not have little mistakes like that. You cannot afford it this weekend. Does everyone... The pressure on the girls this week is tremendous. They're going to need a back brace by the end of the week with all the pressure Abby's putting on their shoulders. Like, you must win. You must be fabulous. You must be. You must be. You must be. We have our... Nemes here again this week. How did that happen? Boo! The Abby Lee Dance Company, boo! Um, we cannot get beat by a hokey pokey number again. It's just not going to be good for us. Do not talk to them backstage. Do not let her psych you out. So lucky us, we get to see those candy apples again. I'm not going to start anything with Kathy, but certainly if Kathy starts with me, I'm not backing down from Kathy. I just don't appreciate all the low blows she did with Mackenzie. Well, she did low blows with Chloe. She's a low blower. Like, if 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 my nose is... She's a low blower. Said, <laughs> she is a low blower. Is Mackenzie ready? Yes, yeah, Mackenzie's ready. ready. Straight legs, pointed feet, shoulders down. If you forget, stay backstage. Don't come out, because I'm going to chop your head off. Go. I'm very nervous that Mackenzie's going to forget her solo on stage, and I don't think she's just going to ad lib. I think she'll just run off the stage if she forgets. Smile, OK? Have fun. There's one part in my dance that's really hard. It's around a back handspring. I'm going to show everyone that I'm the best. Jump this next up to the stage, ages 7 and 8, number 3, 2, 1.
Lindsay nailed her side aerials, and you know she nailed that back handspring too. So she's really come a long way in a short amount of time. You know, uh, ladies, that this row was reserved for us. Just FYI, you were supposed to have this row, and we were supposed to have this row. Well, until I see a plate on the back of this chair with you know your what? name on it that you bought it, but, I'm not moving. But... I guess I'm having more confidence in myself because backstage, I'm not as nervous anymore. My nerves are more settled. And I just go over the dance and kind of have fun. This week, I think I'm going to be Maddie. Today, Chloe and Maddie are going to be competing their solos. But I think Chloe is actually holding up really well today. I don't see any signs of nerves. I think that she is ready to hit that stage, and she's ready to show everyone what she's made of. She did wrong. Otherwise, she did a really nice job. Judges, please move down four score sheets to number three, two, four. I thought Chloe Solo was beautiful. I loved her costume. I thought she did great. But my daughter is number one in my eyes all the time. I feel very confident competing against Chloe. I'm really prepared for my solo, and I think I'm going to do very good. And even though it's jazz, I think I'll pull it off. Jazz, ages nine and 10, number three, two, four. Lights, camera, action. Maddie has pressure this week. She's the title winner to Starbound, the national title winner, and she has to dance fabulous. Lights, camera, camera action. Lights are flashing, swagger down the runway. Check the fashion, nothing ever out of place. entertainment that was paid and hired and flown in from Vegas to perform at this competition. What was wrong about it? What? It was great. So weird. It didn't look weird. I like when you do jazz. I know. I know. Emily, Emily, Emily. I like that. <laughs> Brooke is not here. Did anybody notice that? No. No. Brooke yes. is not. You noticed justice? Yeah, well, maybe they're realizing that Abby isn't the spectacular end-all that she claims to be. You. you know what? I'll bet you Brooke, Brooke's trying out for cheerleader. Today I'm trying out for cheerleading, and I'm kind of nervous because I've never cheered before. Abby didn't treat Brooke the way she treats her all the time and knocked her down year after year after year, Brooke won't want to do cheerleading. Number three, may I see your jump? Thank you. 
Number 24, your jump. Thank you. Say the words. I can hear one girl. I don't hear, I don't hear three or 24. 24 maybe smiled. Okay. 24, can you call the chant for us? Just to make sure she can talk. Please call that again. If I don't make the cheer team, I'm going to feel pretty bad because I let all my teammates down. All right, girls, these are the girls who made it. You were just going to stand up when you make it. If you didn't make it, please gather your things. Thanks for coming. Number three. Number 22. Number nine. Number 20. Number four. Number eight. Number 24. Thank you, girls. I made the cheer team. I'm so excited to get my uniform and pom poms. Girls that made it, congratulations. We're going to have a great year. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, you have a lot to learn. I am so happy for Brooke. She really deserves this. But another part of me is upset because she's walking away from something that has been part of her entire life. the top junior petite soloist today. It's going to 321, bigger, is it better? It's Mackenzie from Abby Lee Dance. Mackenzie won her age division, seven to eight. Um, my little girl did fabulous. You excited? Yeah. I felt great when they said that the winner is me. I think I'm gonna win a lot of competitions like Maddie. Mackenzie has definitely improved this year, and she wants to dance. That's what's making all the difference in the world. Top 10 junior soloists. Third place. 324, lights, camera, action. Maddie from Abbey Lee. Maddie came in third place this week. She was actually flawless. Something was definitely off with these judges. I definitely think she was gypped. Second place junior solos. If you believe it's Eunice from Dancers in Motion, and our top soloist, it's Chloe from Abby Lee Dance. Chloe came in first, and it was just such a proud moment for me. I, it really was. I've wanted that for her. I've wanted her to just believe in herself, and it was such a good feeling. This is based on dancing, and Chloe danced the best today. How do you feel about that score? Awesome. It felt really good to get overall first place. There was a lot of good girls at the competition, so I was really surprised and happy at the same time. I really don't care that Chloe beat Maddie because I am not pissed that she didn't win. She won in my eyes. But Abby told me the reason she didn't win was because she looked professional. She didn't look like the amateurs that were dancing against her. Take a bow for your audience. Maddie was pretty amazing. Chloe screwed up this big turn section that she does to lunge on the floor. I want Chloe to have confidence, but I want that confidence to come from within, not from winning trophies. Come here. Now listen to me. I wasn't even going to come because I was so aggravated with this routine. Not only do you have to prove Brooke wrong that she's worthless and doesn't mean anything, everyone's replaceable. The way I choreographed the routine is the way it should have been competed. We all make choices, and we have to live with those choices. So let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so as soon as you're ready, you can head backstage and warm up backstage, all right? Okay. Just stay clean. I think the candy apples would do pretty good this week because last week the group number was pretty good. I'm a little worried about them at the competition, but I'm just going to hope for the best, do my best, and see what happens. Next up, number 460, Mermaids.
couples turned into mermaids. Jump, kick, leap, turn, jump, kick, leap, turn, bivy on, bivy off. Same old, same old. I just hope that the judges realize that Vivienne was used as a human prop to bring the age level down. And those girls should not be competing in 9 and 10. I'm very confident that we get to compete against candy apples. I have no fears. I want to show them what we've got. with a routine that was designed specifically to feature Brooke. And that group succeeded without her. Check this out, junior groups. Candy Apples isn't going to beat us. They're not taking us down. We're taking them down. Eighth place, with a score of 279, it's the Mermaid's Candy Apples dance. How you like them apples? to dance won the entire thing. So we not only beat Kathy and her candy apples, but we also beat everybody else that was at the competition in Nutley, New Jersey. Tell everybody what studio you're from. Happy Lee and Company! There is your top junior overall group. Take one more bow for your audience. Thank you very much, ladies. sitting right behind me, she did not know what to do. Oh, Abby, did she congratulate you? She never said congratulations to me. So as a sign of good sportsmanship, come on, we're going to go tell her that our kids did a great job. I went to the dressing room to see Kathy because I want the B costume back. Hello! All right, we just wanted to tell you all congratulations. I, I thought she did a great job. I don't know what happened. But anyway, do you have my B costume? You mean, hold on, the ugly bee costume that Vivi wore? Yes. It's I gave it to the good will. That was $300. Film me. It's, it's a memory. memory. It's, it's irresistible. It's sentimental. Listen, disco ball, I'm not talking to you today. This is between Abby and I, so pipe down. You need disco ball. Kathy is just a rude, mean little woman. She is a nasty old bat. By the way, Christy, Whoville called, and they want your nose back. Oh, my God, Kathy. Listen, Go ahead. when you have a better insult, something that Go ahead. is... I'm not, I'm not listening to you when anymore. When you have a better insult, insult that's a... Please get out of my face. Oh, no, I'll get right in your face. Oh, you might... No, you won't. Just go Girl. bring it, bitch. Just, you know, that. that's wonderful that you talk like that in front of your kids, but we don't talk like that in front of ours, do we, moms? I know. Well, you know what, Kathy? Move along. The dog pound is calling. Move along. Oh my God, do not put your hands on me. Get out of my face. Your Payless shoes need to walk out oh of here. Oh my God, all you care about is money. I'm not really? talking about that. Oh my God, that's I'm all you talk about. You I'm obviously have about a complexity issue. I'm talking about style, and you your have hands none. off of me. You know what? Take 
your hands off of me. Kathy wrapped that icy cold bony little hand around me. It was like the Grim Reaper was holding onto my wrist. Ugh. Move along, disco ball. Oh my God, you wish! Guess what, Kathy? You can't beat us, so go home. Stop trying, give up.